But let me start with corruption. Yes, we are corrupt. Up to the point that even some pastors who are preaching the word of God is corrupt. So corrupt is a disease in the country. Okay? It is not a complaint. It is a disease. It's in your body. It's growing. Now let me give you an example why corruption needs to be abolished in a different way. If I pick one of you here who is a policeman and your salary is 1,400 cities and you have a wife with four children and you live in a bungalow and you serve the government and the public and the only value the government is giving you is 1,400 cities. That is the same money he used to fill his car tank or a normal person will fill their car tank to last on it for one week. This person has no value whatsoever. Even if you gave him pure water for bribe, he would take it. So when you go outside, in America, in Europe, in China, they care about their people. They've made sure that their people at least have a middle income. Something that will let them feel like being a Ghanaian is worth their while. So their integrity will not be traded. When you want to build a nation, you need to build a nation with the value. You think if God created us and he took all the value away from us, we will not even worship God. We will not believe he's there. But he's giving us water. He's giving us animals. We kill the goats and we eat it. The plants, everything. He did not take it from us. He did not take it from us. And therefore, we can't be corrupt to God, but we're being corrupt to ourselves. The only time that we can bring this corruption down is two things. First of all, we create the right jobs with the average salary that will bring us to a middle class lifestyle. That's the first one. The second thing is that we should forget this nationality that we have chosen over our mentality. Everybody is about the region that they are from. I am a votarian, so I want you to employ a votarian. I am from the north, so all the soldiers should be from the north. Hey, my friend, what is this? That is racial. That is discriminative. And you are corrupt on top of it. Your sins are way too many. So it's not only the government that is corrupt. Even we as society, we are also corrupt. And we need to accept it before we can change ourselves. We need to accept our mentality that we are part of it to be able to change ourselves.